So hello everyone and welcome to the YouTube channel of developers and coders from NIT Agatala. So today we'll be discussing this problem number B calendro matter that came in code forces global round 17. Okay, so first we'll read the problem statement and then we'll try to get an intuition for it and then we'll look at the code. Okay, so the problem statement goes as an array B to BM is a palindrome if B i equals to B M plus 1 minus i for each i from 1 to M. Empty array is also a palindrome. So what is the palindrome? We all know that uh, any array or string that reads the same from the beginning as it does from the end. For example, A B A 1 2 2 1 1 2 1 1 2 3 3 2 1. Now these all are palindromes. Now array is called a calendrome if the following condition holds. Now it's possible to select some integer x and delete some of the elements of the array equal to x so that the remaining array after gluing together the remaining parts of the palindrome. Note that you we don't have to delete all elements equal to x and we don't have to delete at least one element equal to x. So what this statement basically means is that if we select an element equal to x, we don't have to delete all its occurrences or we don't have to delete even one of its occurrences. We can leave as it is or we can delete as many occurrences as we want to. For example, now this array 1 to 1 is already a palindrome. So therefore, we'll select any one of them, 1 or 2, and it will be a calendrome because you can simply not delete any single element and it will be equal to a palindrome. Now consider this array. Now, if we select 3 and delete all the classes of 3, basically delete this element and this element, then the array will be left to 1, 2, and 1. Now, 1, 2, 1 is a palindrome and therefore, this whole array is a calendrome. Now, 1, 2, 3 is not a calendrome. Why? Because if we delete any one of them, 1, 2, or 3, then we'll be left with unequal elements and just two elements unequal basically means it's not a palindrome so therefore it is not a calendrome as well so we're given with an array of size n we have to determine whether a is calendrome or not okay so we'll be given with test cases size of the array then the array itself and we have to output yes if it is a calendrome and no otherwise we can print any letter in each case okay so first we will like to look at some example test cases so this is the first test case the size is 1 and the array itself is 1. So in this uh, case, we don't need to do anything or we can just select 1 and remove 1. So it will become a palindrome. So therefore, our output is yes. Now this is second array, uh, 2 and the array elements are 1, 2. Now we can delete either of them and we will be left with one element which will be a palindrome. So therefore, the output is again yes. Now the third test case is this one, 1, 2, 3, as we have discussed before that 1, 2, 3 cannot be a palindrome because if we delete any one of them, we will be left with uh, with an array which is not a palindrome. Now consider this test case. Now if we remove one all the occurrences of one format, we will be left with 4, 4, 4 which is a palindrome and if we delete all the occurrences of 4, we will be left with 1, 1 which is a palindrome in both the cases. So therefore our output will be yes. So now I will be trying to solve this problem greedily because uh, I will start a pointer from starting and one from the end. Okay, so I, it will look better here. So my basic approach uh, to solve this question was that I will be maintaining two pointers from start and beginning, for example, this and this. Now I will check if uh, the values of these pointers are equal. And if they are equal, then basically it satisfies the condition of palindrome. We don't need to do anything. And if they are not equal, then I have to delete one of them. Because if I don't delete one and I don't delete four, then in any case, it won't be possible that it will be a palindrome. If we do anything in the middle also, then in any case, it won't be possible that this uh, array becomes a palindrome. So therefore, I have to either delete one or I have to either delete four. So for this uh, example, I will delete one. Okay, so I'll delete one and move the pointer one ahead. I've deleted one. Okay, and I'll set my one variable called as two remove as one because I have to keep track of which element are we removing actually. So now again, four and four will be equal. So we don't need to do anything because they satisfy the condition of palindrome. So now we'll move the pointers one position ahead and now again we'll encounter elements which are not equal. 4 and 1 are not equal. Now what I'll check is if either one of them, either one of these two values are equal to this 2 remove value. The 2 remove value is uh, set to 1 right now and yes this value is equal to 1 so I can just remove it because that's the element that we were removing and now the pointer will come to here and I'll break the loop because the start pointer has reached equal to the end pointer. So in this test case, we could have also removed 4 and we would have ended with the same result. We would have ended with 1 comma 1. Okay, so this basically we'll check for both one of them. First we will remove the first pointer and then we will remove the second pointer. 
Now consider this test case. Now what will happen here is uh, I'll start the pointers from here and here. These two are equal, so nothing will happen, right? We'll just move the pointers again. Now we'll come to these two. Now I encounter that uh, these are not equal, so I'll have to remove one of them. So I'll remove for the sake of argument, let's say two. So since I have removed two, I'll just basically delete it and move the pointer one ahead. Now I'll again encounter elements which are not equal and this time both of them are not equal to 2. So basically this will not become a calendrome if I delete 2, right? As because 1 and 4 are not, not equal to 2 and they're not equal to themselves as well. So if I remove 4 here, for example, let us consider that we removed 4 here because we have to consider both the cases that we will either remove this or we'll either remove this. So if 2 remove becomes 4, okay, we'll remove 4 and then the pointer will come to here. And then again, as you can see, these elements are not equal and both of them are not equal to 4. So in this case, again, the array will not be a calendrome because there's no possible way to delete any one of the element. So this was the whole approach. Okay, so we'll basically maintain two pointers and at each time we'll check if they're equal, then we'll, we'll move the pointers to one position ahead. And then if they're not equal, we'll set the two remove pointer will set the two remove to either first of them or either second of them and in this case we'll check both of them because it might be possible that deleting uh, the first pointer actually results in a calendrome and resulting second one does not result in a calendrome so if either one of them results in a calendrome uh, in a palindrome then we'll output yes or either we'll output no so we'll look at the code now this will give you a, a really good uh, intuition so this is the main code we'll come to the function later so here I've taken the input for test cases, okay. Let me zoom in a bit. Here I've taken in the input for the array. Now I have set this variable, uh, finals. Okay, this is not useful, I guess. Uh, now uh, the starting pointer, these are the two pointers, start and end. So I've started the start pointer with zero and end pointer with the last position. Now there are two variables that I've used, first and second, which will come to use now. Uh, then I've started the loop, while start is less than equals to n, we'll check if array start is not equal to array end. So whenever this happens for the first time, what we are going to do is we already decided that for the first time when they are not equal, I'll either remove this one, I'll either remove this first pointer, I'll either remove the second pointer. So that's what we are going to do. So now we'll look at the checker function. In this checker function, what I've done is, I'll provide the two remove variable to this function and I will provide the start pointer and the end pointer and the error itself. So now uh, here the, this finals will come into where use. So now I've initiated the loop while start is less than equals to n. So now if array start is not equals to array end, we'll check that if array start equals to two remove or array end is equals to two remove. So basically uh, if any uh, values of any uh, one of these pointers is actually equal to our two remove function. For example, in this one, we had one here and it was equals to one. So we remove that one. So if it's equal to start, then we'll increment the start pointer. And if it's equal to the end pointer, then we'll decrement the end pointer. Or else, if it is not equal to both of them, uh, our code will only reach here when it's not equal to both of them. Then we'll set this finals variable to false and break the loop because what it basically means is that it's not a palindrome. It cannot become a palindrome even after deleting that to remove variable. Or else part, when will we reach this else? When start is equal to end, then we'll increment both the pointers. Increment the start pointer, decrement the end pointer. We'll move one position ahead. And in the end, I'll return the finalist variable. So the finalist variable will be, become, uh, will be becoming false only and only if it will not be able to become a palindrome by removing to remove function, by removing the to remove element. So this was the helper code that I wrote. So in this helper code, I have provided two variables. Okay, so first one is, I provided with, uh, in this one, I have removed uh, the array, the value of to remove will be the first pointer, the start pointer, basically in the value of, for example, in this test case, I am providing the value of one to it. And uh, the start pointer will be starting from the next position because we have incremented one from it. And in the second function calling, I have uh, actually given the value of to remove as end pointer, basically this pointer. And uh, I have decremented the end pointer by one because we are actually ignoring that or deleting that x value. So uh, after this happens, we'll just break the loop because we have already got the values of first and second. We've already traversed the whole array twice. 
or if they are not equal then i'll uh, incrementing on uh, the start variable and decrementing the end variable since it is a palindrome we don't need to do anything so we'll just uh, come into this condition only when we encounter elements which are not equal and in the end if either first is true or the second is true or we have not even fallen into this condition once so what this once variable checks is that uh, if there is even one element which is not equal and if there is not even one element which is not equal then this once will be set to false and basically will output yes okay and in the case where first is actually false second is also false and we have fallen into this condition at least once that basically means is that there are at least uh, one element which is not equal um, to the end element so then we will output no so this was the whole code uh, if you have any doubts regarding it you can uh, like comment down or ask in our discord channel so thank you that was it for this video